Not getting to go outside and stuck in a room, all hooked up to all these machines. So many machines, I could hardly move. Well, it all started when I was four. Um, I had stomach pain. My, my parents thought it was like maybe hungry or I just was crying. I kept on having to go to the hospital. The doctors kept on predicting that it was pancreatitis. It's not really common for a lot of kids. I couldn't sleep at night. My parents couldn't sleep. We all couldn't sleep because I kept on crying. When they fed me, um, I didn't want to eat. I was missing school. I was staying up late with my parents trying for them to help me. It was like I wasn't getting enough learning done. And so then, as years passed, they put, tried to put stents through me, but that didn't stop the pain. So then, when I was eight, they decided, hey, I think you guys should start making her have a surgery. But Boston didn't do those surgeries. So then we had to fly out to Minnesota, and we had to stay there for two months, but this the plane tickets and affording the surgery was so much. God prepared so much people to help us raise that money by doing fundraisers and putting up a GoFundMe. And so then we raised enough money to do the surgery. I was so nervous, but they put me asleep and then I just saw this golden gate and the gates opened and then I saw this whole town with like, my dreams and all my thoughts in it. Everything was beautiful. But then, when I woke up from my surgery, I was connected to so many cords. My, my machines were like super tall, taller than me, taller than my dad. So many machines I hardly could move. In my arm, in my neck, in my leg, on my stomach, all over the place, on my chest. On my other arm, it was like this in the bed when I woke up, I'm like, where am I? I had to lose my pancreas, my gallbladder, my spleen, my duodenum, and they took my islet cells um, from my pancreas and put them in my liver to produce insulin. And so then I stayed there in the hospital for two weeks after my surgery. Then I went to the Ronald McDonald's house. That's where I recovered for two months. I would like feel nauseous and vomit a lot. We were about to go to a museum, but I had so much stomach pain. But then out of nowhere, like Jesus just made my stomach stop hurting. And then when we were about to go, it just felt so much better. And then I went to the museum. Jesus helped me. Like, I couldn't see him, but I just knew he was there for me. And Jesus provided these friends and all these fun things to do and things to help me. And then when I got home to see my house again, there was so many signs from my mom's work saying, welcome home, Bethany, from every classroom. And my grandma put up butterflies and trees and there's balloons in my house. And we had a whole fun party and it was amazing. I couldn't believe what everyone did for me to help me. Thinking about my surgery and thinking, like, how did this all happen? And going to church, it, it helped me realize, wow, Jesus did all of this for me. He's, like, given me all these things, given me life, died for me, made me who I am. Because he's done things for me, but I haven't done anything for him yet. So maybe I could help him by getting baptized, and I want to... I want to put my life for him. My name is Bethany, and I've decided to follow Jesus. Yeah.